June 12. The Philippine Revolution against Spain culminated in the declaration of Philippine independence in Kawit, Cavite, and the setting up of the first Philippine Republic through a Congress held at the Baraswain Church in Malolos, Bulacan. August 13. With the Spanish forces surrounded in the walled city of Intramuros by the Philippine revolutionaries, the Spanish fleet under the command of Admiral Montojo surrendered to the U.S. Navy under Admiral George Dewey in the Battle of Manila Bay. On December 10, Spain ceded the Philippines to the United States through the Treaty of Paris. George C. Stull, a Methodist chaplain with the U.S. Armed Forces, conducted the first Protestant worship service and preached the first Protestant sermon in the country. Eighteen ninety nine. March two. An American bishop of the Methodist Episcopal Church, James M. Thoburn, who was based in India, visited the Philippines to look at the possibilities of starting a mission work in the country. In April nineteen hundred, the first missionaries sent by the Methodist Episcopal Church arrived. They were Reverend Thomas Martin and Reverend and Mrs. J. L. McClellan. In April, the first missionaries sent by the Presbyterian Church in the United States arrived. They were Reverend James B. Rogers, Dr. and Mrs. George Wright, and Reverend and Mrs. David Hibbard. The Wrights and the Hibbards were assigned to the Visayas. Reverend E. S. Eby and Reverend Sandord Cutts, missionaries sent by the Church of the United Brethren, arrived. In 1904, Dr. Howard Widows came and worked in La Union and Pangasinan for some more than 40 years. On August 3, Mr. and Mrs. William H. Hanna of the Foreign Christian Missionary Society of the Church of Christ arrived. They were followed by Reverend Mrs. Herman P. Williams. The disciples established mission work in the Ilocos and Tagalog regions. Silliman Institute was established by Dr. and Mrs. David Hibbard in Dumaguete City. This will later become Silliman University, the first university outside of Manila. As part of the Institute's service to the community, an infirmary was set up, which later became a hospital. Its buildings were constructed in 1916. Other medical works started by the missionaries, which became hospitals, were the Brokenshire Memorial Hospital in Davao City in 1908, the Bethany Hospital in Tacloban City, 1913, the Bethany Hospital in San Fernando La Union in 1921, and several others in Lawag, Bohol, Zamboanga, Abra, and Manila, which were later sold when the missionaries returned to the United States because of the post-World War I depression and other factors. April 26. The Evangelical Union was organized. It was a council of representatives of various mission groups and organizations allied with the Church. Its primary purpose was to bring about a spirit of committee, unity, and cooperation among the mission groups that will eliminate competition. Initiated by the Evangelical Union where the territorial division of the country among the mission groups, a common name for the newly organized churches, the name agreed upon was the Evangelical Church. A plan to effect the formations of a national church and cooperation of work in schools, hospitals, printing presses, newspapers, and other fields of endeavor. 192. The American Board of Foreign Missions of the Congressional Church in the United States sent Reverend Robert Black and was assigned in Davao. In 1915, the Congressional Church opened its work in northern Mindanao. Among those who were sent were Dr. and Mrs. Frank L. Lobach, who worked among the Muslims in Marawi City, 
This is where Dr. Loback developed the methods of illiteracy programs which became internationally recognized. 1907. The Union Theological Seminary in Manila was formed for the training of pastors, deaconesses, and lay leaders. It was the result of the merger of the Ellenwood Bible School of the Presbyterian Mission and the Nicholson Seminary of the Methodist. Later, the disciples joined the cooperative effort. 1914. The Silliman Bible Training Institute was established as a cooperative venture between the Congregational in Mindanao and the Presbyterians in the Visayas for the training of church workers. This became the College of Theology of Silliman University and much later the Divinity School. 1924, March 15, the Articles of Incorporation of the United Church of Manila was signed and registered formalizing the organization of a local church to demonstrate the viability of the union of members coming from various Protestant churches on the local level. August 24. The Central Committee for Church Union, composed of representatives from the Presbyterian, Congregational, and the United Brethren Churches, and the United Church of Manila as a local church, met and adopted the principles embodied in a document called the Nanking Agreement as its basis of union. 1929, March 15. The basis of union was adopted by the three churches and the United Evangelical was recognized. It became the first Protestant covering the whole country. The following were its officers, Reverend Enrique Sobrepeña as moderator of the General Assembly, Reverend George W. Wright as General Secretary, and Reverend J. C. Hooper as General Treasurer. 1933, March. The Philippine Methodist Church, which grew out of the Methodist Episcopal Church, was recognized under the leadership of Rev. Samuel Stagg and Rev. Cipriano Navarro. 1941, December 8. The Japanese Imperial Forces attacked the American military installation in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. and brought the Second World War to the Pacific. In less than a month, on January 2, 1942, the Japanese forces occupied the Philippines. Nineteen forty three. The Evangelical Church of the Philippines was formed and brought together the United Evangelical Church, the Church of Christ, the Iglesia Evangelica Unida de Cristo, some segments of the Iglesia Evangelica Metodista en las Islas Filipinas, Iglesia Evangelica Nacional, the Philippine Methodist Church, and some independent local congregations. It was the first union of churches under the full leadership of Filipinos. After the war, the former Presbyterians and the Congregationalists reconstituted the United Evangelical Church. On the other hand, the former United Brethren, together with the Church of Christ and the independent congregations, remained as the Evangelical Church of the Philippines. 1947. A basis of union was formulated under the initiative of the Philippine Federation of Christian Churches. The aggregation, which evolved from the Evangelical Union, was sent to different churches for study and approval. 